<laughs> hey, what's going on, bro? <laughs> that was good. Hey, you know, uh, had, had to be a little bit different this morning. <laughs> I guess. Hey. Tapping the mic. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know, DMV, like, we hitting on everything. Yeah, here he go. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you know how it be, bro. Be in class. Some uh, go go pop in your head, you start beating on your chest and shit, <laughs> tapping on the leg. Nigga, that's how I be. Man, facts, facts, but, uh, facts. This is another breaking the narrative podcast, BTM for short. Mm-hmm. And we are going to be talking about the algorithms for social media, Facebook, Instagram, more, more than likely. But uh, we'll probably jump into the other ones. But yeah, more than do. likely, we're going to just stick with the uh, Facebook and Instagram for majority of this. Yeah. So, as far as the algorithm is concerned, it sucks. Yeah, it's a it's a clever it's a clever setup that they got going. Yeah, they they made sure that they kept certain people away from the spotlight. Yeah, they really want you to they want you to dedicate yourself to one of the platforms and then work it like a full time job. That's really what they want from you. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. If your main fan base or following is specifically based around foolery, then if you post something positive, then more than likely it's not going to reach the amount of people that you thought it was going to based on the people that you were. Yeah. Uh, that pretty much just gave you the the platform. Anyway, it is like, well, stick to this. That That's all you're going to do. Right. And I'm just like, why? Why can't I just be multifaceted? Yeah, <clears throat> um, it, it, a lot, of, a lot, I like a lot of it goes into like the overall agenda of each social media platform, and I kind of feel like positivity isn't really the agenda, especially for Facebook. You know, they kind of they want the foolery. I feel like Instagram more so wants the the, the polarizing, the showcase of a polarizing lifestyle. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um. Twitter is kind of different, but it's not kind of different in a sense. There's an algorithm on Twitter, but it's easy to break an algorithm on Twitter versus the other ones, in my opinion. And it's also easy to break an algorithm on TikTok versus, like, the others. But I feel like because until those platforms become, like, the mainstay of social media over um, Facebook and Instagram... Then it's really not gonna matter. Okay. Yeah. I I see where you're coming from. Like I, I I can't deal with half of the stuff that they putting up and allowing to go along on like the social media platforms. Because mm-hmm. you can have a really positive post, but it has one minor thing in it goes against the guidelines. You can't have it. Yeah. That's 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 another button problem on social media too like using that guideline thing to constrict people's yeah they, they, like I said it's a very clever they're they're clever with what they're doing <clears throat> like they're uh, talking about uh, TikTok because of that uh, I know that I, I follow Patrick Cloud on Instagram mm-hmm. uh, he's a uh, he's a YouTuber also a producer director Many many different things. Like I can't even name all the things that the nigga's good at. Mm-hmm. But he had a video on TikTok where he was praising a black mother for uh, giving her son uh, a Saiyan hairstyle, like actually like Super Saiyan esque hairstyle. Okay. He was praising her for that, and they gave him a strike for, or well, as they removed it for hate speech. Right. Yes, it's it's because I've gotten so many warnings over the last couple of weeks about the the hate speech, and it kind of it's like for me it's a double. I ain't gonna say it's a double sided sword, but to me it does make me step back and look like how much of our everyday regular lingo that we think is just harmless lingo could, as we use like double entendre terminology could come off sounding as hate speech. You know what I mean? 
Like, I got a warning just the day before yesterday on Facebook about uh, saying that, you know how when we watch basketball, we watch football, Mm -hmm. but mainly in basketball, and you see somebody scoring a lot of points. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, yo, such and such is out there killing right now. Now, we've been saying that since we were kids. Now, I said that, and I get a warning, like, yo, that's hate speech. And then it's just like, oh, damn, well, damn I did say such and such out there killing. So, I, obviously, they, even though they know damn well what it means. Because the, the social media platforms aren't stupid. You know what I mean? It's just also about them trying to control and conform you to their, what they want to be on there you know what i mean yeah i get that but then there's also instances where it's just like if you're at a lower tier then it technically does it matters more than if you are at oh, a yeah. higher tier yeah because because uh, uh there are people who say who say blatantly racist things or blatantly hateful things and they still keep the video up because it generates views yeah, or or they just have. I, I kind of feel like, <clears throat> and I hate to uh, I hate to bring the race into it, but it plays such a big factor. But I feel like you know certain people, they're just allowed, you know, the bipartisan of going past the rules. You know what I mean? So it's like, it it is what it is when it comes to that. Now people won't admit it, and I get it because if it's if something's benefiting you. You're not going to really, well, we will because we, you know, we tend to keep it real about everything. But the average person isn't really going to admit when something's like heavily swayed in their favor. Mm. What does the person do? The person just takes advantage and then gloats as if the thing is not heavily swayed in their favor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is the reason why uh, black TikTokers are actually... Uh, moving away from the platform and going on strike because their white counterparts are taking their their ideas and then capitalizing on them. Yeah, and I, I kind of feel like that's just not not even on TikTok. I kind of feel like that's just all across the board. Well, like, yeah, realistically, yeah. Like, cause I, I've seen that a ton on Instagram as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. also, yeah, and also Instagram. I, there's just like there's big platformers who, <clears throat> and we can get into like the whole shadow ban thing because I I believe like currently I'm shadow banned on Facebook. And Instagram. Hmm. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, I feel like um, just uh, just overall, like <clears throat> a lot of people have a lot of talent from our culture. Yeah, I co- we have the most talent. Like our culture is like the most talented culture in the world. Mm-hmm. But like you said, if it just came down to that, then you know. It would just black people will run everything. Yeah, that's true. And you know, Lord knows we can't have that. Because <sighs> <laughs> yeah. you you got to think of like all the lanes and the avenues that it will open. Because when people when Hollywood recruits these people off social media, who would they be forced to recruit? Yeah, they pick black people now, but it would have to be like ninety percent black people. And then other stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then not only will you, I would like, like, damn, I got to I gotta pick Mike. Not only would I have to pick you, now I got to pay you a lot of money, too. Mm-hmm. So, it, it man, it's, it's so much that goes into, like, all of this crap. And it sucks. It, it does. And I'm, I'm actually going to jump into the, uh, the Facebook, the Facebook thing. Mm-hmm. So, I remember... That I was uh, on Facebook, and I, I I've never had uh, an issue with having something like considered as not meeting guidelines. Right. I've never. <laughs> I've never had that, but it's like some months back, I was making a joke about myself, okay. and then they said that it would goes against guidelines because I was making fun of myself. Right. And I was like, oh, you got to be joking. I, I, uh, I screenshotted this shit, and then I posted it, and I posted it in the same comment section that uh, it was taken down in, 
and then they was like, oh, I'm sorry, we made a mistake. And then they put it back. Right, right. It's like, <clears throat> come on, bro. And then, because what really happens is, and now I guess we have to get into the shadow band thing. What really happens with that is, by them sending you a warning, now they have a free pass to, like, screen your page from hitting the full algorithm of your friends. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they had, oh, well, you know, he posts stuff that goes against the guidelines, so we, we're we just going to show him to the closest people he interact with. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and I think that uh, ties into the reason why they took away – the uh they they took away the ability to see the the people who are posting immediately whether or rather than right the ones that's posting right right uh, that's more popular and shit right because like, you'll you'll you you will post something and instead of me seeing what you posted three minutes ago i'm seeing what somebody else posted three days ago yep <laughs> you know, just because it's popular, right, right, right. So yeah, like it, it, like I said, it's cleverly constructed. Like that, everything is a calculated step. None of that is just random. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the the Instagram thing. I don't know if you've seen like the new Instagram. Well, I think because we had we talked about it, the new Instagram um, algorithm, where it's like likes aren't the important thing. Mm-hmm. It, it's the it's the you got to save it. And then you got to share it, and then you got to comment on it, and then, like, so by order, the most important thing is for somebody to save your post. Hmm. And then the second most important thing is somebody to share your post. Then third is comment, and last is the like. You know what I'm saying? So okay. technically, that's the new algorithm on Instagram. So I don't, I don't, like, that, it is weird. It is weird, but it's, it's built. So they can keep all the ducks in a row. Yeah, because people with really high platforms, they don't really need They'll that. stay high. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because their, their posts are going to be the ones that nobody's going to save my post. Yeah. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we, 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 we adjusted to the old algorithm where we can get the likes and the views. And so by us doing that, we slowly inching towards, you know, the, the next tier. Mm-hmm. But then it's like now that this happened, now it's like, okay, clearly it's true because my I don't feel like my post is reaching like a lot of people anymore. Yeah, it almost feels like you're back to square one. Yep, that's exactly how it is. Yeah, because once you get to a certain point, it just seems like they they push the stop button. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, <clears throat> like on Facebook, mm-hmm. on Facebook, and I can give you a perfect example of like. The shadow ban thing. There was a stretch on Facebook, I think, earlier this year, where I was posting my um my TikToks on there, mm-hmm. and my videos are getting a thousand views a piece. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Getting getting forty, fifty shares, a bunch of likes and comments, and all that stuff. And then out of nowhere, like not breaking the routine. Not taking no sabbaticals, no keeping the same routine. It goes from that to a video getting forty views. Yeah, that, <laughs> and, that and, that's clear. And people and people can say like, and people you know it, they give you the like I said, it's the double edged thing where they, of course, if you say something to Facebook or something, they're going to be like, well, maybe your content isn't. But it's like you would still get the views. You just wouldn't get the reactions. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's no way that like over the course of one week I'm going to go from a thousand views to forty. <laughs> yeah, it's, it. They make it so blatant, right? But it, the thing right. is, you can't really say much about it because what are you going to do? Right. Like you can't just say, "Oh, they're holding my post." It. There's nothing you can really you can do. Prove, you can't, can't. You can't prove. That they're actually doing it. You just know that they're, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just know that they're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, it's almost like having a job and, you know, you know your job is shortchanging you. You know your job is making everything hard for you, but you just technically, officially, you can't prove it. Yeah. You don't have nothing in paper. You don't have, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, 
They're gonna keep doing it. Yeah, it's very until everybody says something about it. Yeah, it's very cleverly constructed, and because a lot of people still benefit from it, everybody's not gonna complain. Mm-hmm. Just the smaller content creators. So yeah, it's just it's technically how society works. It's like. Yeah, people who benefit thing. the most not going to complain. Right. The people who benefit the less are going to be the ones that complain. Right. But and, and people up here are not going to care. Right. So that that's just Yeah, it's just it's just like I said, besides Twitter, but I'm not really I'm not active on Twitter. I'm just on there reading a lot, you know what I mean? I don't post a lot on Twitter, but besides Twitter and, and TikTok cuz you can Break through rather quickly on TikTok for some strange reason. Um, I got a theory about it, but that that doesn't tie into like algorithms. I think that just ties into overall, you know, <clears throat> strangers supporting more than people you know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's why it's easier to to break algorithms on there because on there people just support you. You they won't even. People won't even be following you, and they'll like and comment on your videos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it doesn't. If you, it whatever you post, if it's funny, people gonna people gonna laugh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that too. You don't. There's never been like no unease about like come on, you know this shit funny. You know what I'm saying? Or people not saying nothing, and when you see them in person, oh yeah, that video you posted earlier. It's funny, you know what I'm saying? Just be like, bro, comment on it. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah I know that shit help out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that that's my theory on the whole TikTok thing. Even though I've been hit with the guideline thing too. Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. Um. I, yeah, that video is actually really funny. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> why. They did all that extra shit, bro. It's like they didn't do it on Instagram. It's it's, it's it's booming on Instagram still, but bro, yeah. Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> you ain't sorry, nigga. You do it again. I would. <laughs> exactly. I, would. I was thinking about doing one for uh, Meg Thee Stallion actually, but oh god, yeah. <laughs> I know she would appreciate it. Hot girl. Yeah, I ain't. yeah. I I'll pass. Um, but uh, there's. Another thing I wanted to touch on, it was, like, I, I know we already talked about the whole shadow banning thing, mm-hmm. but this is a very big issue when they say false information. Okay. Who are they to dictate what's false information or not? Oh, what, Facebook? Yeah. When they well, do the, uh, the little fact check? Yeah. Hey, the first time I seen that, I, I think I cried for like... A good ten minutes, <laughs> cause I seen somebody post something, and I thought it was something like a new wave or something. I thought it was gonna be like under everybody post, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, damn, Facebook done, then <laughs> hooked up at the sources, and the, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas can't be on this junk stunting no more, and it's just like, yo, such and such said this under it. Oh, fact check. False, like, <laughs> like, oh, that's sweet, <laughs> like, and yeah. Then, and then I just, you know, me, I'm trolling. I comment on the post. Yeah, Facebook says stop posting this foolery. It's false. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it pick and chooses when they do it, though. If it's a big enough topic and it's a serious enough topic, like I see it mainly under like when people say conspiracy type stuff. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of this, like, a lot of the things that they post. Well, that they say false information. A lot of this should be true. Yeah. They just say false information. I was like, did y'all not go and look the shit up yourself, or y'all just saying that? They're just saying it. The Zuckerberg, man. Sure. <laughs> Zuck got to gotta help out with the agenda, man. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I seen people post about 9-11. Yeah, 9-11 was an inside job. I mean, you know, like, oh, fact check. False. <laughs> <laughs> and then it had like an article attached. And it don't even it won't even be like no you know, no place that you really like you think it's top tier news to like CNN or you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It'd be like some random like like I could have wrote it. <laughs> like my blog or something, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, yo, 
this is why I wasn't an inside job. And then they had that on the tie to it. It's like, yeah, that, that's funny, though. The whole time, it's just, it's the Daily Bugle from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Daily Bugle. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's funny. I cried the first time I seen that, though. That's how hilarious that was. Fact so, checker. Yeah, like, who the hell is your fact checker, bro? Facebook. Look at Stevie this. Wonder, the fact checker. Yeah, probably got a little team or something, just general little internet knowledge or some shit like that. What's I don't know. This all this shit fucked up. So like, that that's wild, bro. It make you, it make you like. Because what they trying to do is they trying to restore order. Because, man, content creating. You you could blow up so fast. Like it look like it could happen overnight, and you just don't need nobody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they don't like that because it's like eventually it'll run like the businesses and the corporations out of business. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing of like what's happening with music. Like more artists starting not to sign these big deals. Mm, you, they starting to be more do more independent. Right, because so. now you don't need. Like, I can get a million views on YouTube now without being pushed by a label. You know what I'm saying? Now my video could get, like, you know, you hook up your little account. Yo, stream this song. Damn, I got a million streams. You know what I'm saying? Now, mm-hmm. you done made, you know, $100,000 and you ain't trying to nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So it's like, you know, they this, this they, what do you call it, rebuttal to get shit back in order so they can just control this shit more yeah that that that's like the biggest issue is the fact that they they do want to just control everything and now they want to funnel like uh people into the the idea of paying for viewership and also paying for uh engagements yeah because there are there are many times where you will see like if you do have like a like page or anything like that they're like uh, do you want to boost this post after? Right, right. Like, right after you uh, put it up. Right. And it's like, wow, okay. Hey, you have no faith in me whatsoever. Yeah, because it, it, it's indirectly telling you, like, yeah, we're not about to show nobody this for real. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, I actually, I have a, a like, like, we both have like pages. Right. Like, I have... Like the one for the clothing line, we also have one for the uh, four of a kind page. Yeah, and they 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 said that multiple times. Oh yeah, uh, do you want to boost this post and stuff like that? But this is before we was doing the whole algorithm. Like we, our algorithm was good at one point. Right. Like we was getting like hundred some hundred thirty hundred fifty some views in like a couple in like a week and a half. Like not even that. Probably like in a couple of days. Right. Definitely a couple of days. Yeah. So, realistically, we ended up just stopping. Right. Just falling off a cliff. And then it was like, do you want to boost this post? Like, are you serious? And that's one That's one thing that I do notice is, like, once you take, like, any type of break, that completely, like, dooms you. Mm-hmm. They really want you to be, like, a, it's like it's a job. You, yeah. They really want you to take it serious, like, like it's a job damn near 24-7. Yeah, because we did have somewhat of a like a hiatus. Yeah. And that was due to the pandemic, and we couldn't meet up. So during that time period, everything slowed down, and then we kind of fell back from it. Right. And after that, it was like there was no more. Like, well, well, I'm not going to say no more, but we had a very little viewership after that. Right. Because of the situation that we were already in. So they would just say, okay, uh, after we post the thing, like, oh, do you want to boost this post? You get you get more uh, engagement, get more following and all that stuff. I was like, uh, come on, bro. Yeah. And, and, it, <clears throat> and not to get it wrong, because, like, paying to boost a post, it does have its benefits. But it's just it like. If you're not just if you're if you're not made of money, yeah, what do you, like it's leaving you no out essentially. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like I say all the time, I don't say that in multiple podcasts and in, in, in person conversations, like whatever. It's like if you 
if this was all you were if, if this was all you had to do, it would be good. But the fact that everybody still juggles a normal life on top of trying to make content. Like once you already blow up and you you can kind of just like um once you blow up and you can kind of just like do this full time, then I understand. Then you can treat it like a job. Mm-hmm. But for people that still got jobs, family, responsibilities, and then, you know, you want to do this too, it's like, yo, it's really no hope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's really frustrating when you have to pretty much just be a machine. To yeah. a machine, right? It's like you, you have to be a cog in the gear. You gotta fix. You gotta fix yourself up to where you are nothing more than a tool for building whatever it is that uh, whatever it is you're building. Even though you want to do more than one thing, right? They want that to be your only thing, and that's it. So that's gonna keep you on their platform, right? So they, they just want to suck you into their platform and nothing else. You can't have a normal life. You you can't have you can't have a social life. You can't have anything outside of the social media outlet. Facts. That's it. That I think like that's the biggest push they're going for. And it's it's frustrating for people who do want to be content creators and have very good ideas because they're overlooked because they don't have the following to do so. Facts. And even though they're producing good content or quality content, the biggest issue for them is that they're not going to be noticed because their algorithm sucks because they're forcing them into paying for view, for viewership, force, forcing them to pay for engagements and all of that. And just so it can reach other people, they have to you have to bend over backwards just so you can get that. I mean, the hashtags and stuff, it, it sort of works in certain cases. Yeah. However, that's not going to be enough. your end. Of, yeah, it's not yeah, enough. It's, it's not, not enough. the end all be all. Right. Like, because there are plenty of people who uh, who have actually started following me because of the stuff that I was uh, posting up. And then I put the hashtags. But that's that pales in comparison to half of the people that's doing like less work than I am. And I'm and they're doing numbers. Right. That's yeah. not to say they're <clears throat> not doing a good job. It's just the fact is, like, there's, there's like a, a discrepancy between the people, like, uh, between like social media and the up and coming creators. So, I, I actually appreciate the ones that act, that work consistently, trying to be better because we do a heck of a lot of work consistently. Right, and we're like, we're always coming up with new ideas. We're always coming up with n- many elaborate things like. The podcast is like it's one of the the few things that we do. Right. It's just because we have got the podcast, got the you have the photography. I I write consistently. Uh, we do film. We we do damn near everything. Mm-hmm. But if it doesn't translate to social media, it's not going to work out. Right. That's the biggest issue. Like we can go, we can take every other avenue. But if it doesn't translate on social media, it's not going to matter. Right. Unless we're going door to door and showing off our videos. That's the only way I see that working. And um, that's not even a guarantee either. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> and and this is, we're talking about locally now. Yeah. Half of the people that we live around don't even care about what we do. Facts. Like, I can go to somebody's house right now and be like, uh, oh, we're trying to, to build our, our fan base for... The four of a kind group. Uh, how would like, would you like to be a part of that? Would you like to uh, see our videos and share and all that other stuff? They'll probably slam the door in our face. Yeah, I wouldn't even try nothing like that. Exactly. Yeah, and I, I'll be damned if I go over to Forest Creek with some shit like that. <laughs> I'll be damned. I mean, that's anywhere around here. It's all the same, technically. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> they already lump us in together anyway. Yeah. So. So. I just look at it in a sense this like, why? Well, I know why, but the reasoning behind this shit is just, it's so, like, it's so, like, horrible. Like, the things that they're, they're putting out there in the world is just like. Yeah, that, but that's why they do it. It's to, 
is to just control the agenda because the way the way things were flowing is like the you can't control the agenda because if i can if i can get a million views without you or without the primary you know team on the, like facebook like zuckerberg's team and all of that like i don't need them to get get on their platform and then get a million views then i can start to do my own thing and then i can put people on that believe in what I believe in, and then you'll lose control over, you know, essentially, because everything always comes back to money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> just the agenda that they want to push is what's going to bring them what they feel is the most revenue and money. And, man, it's it's, it's real. It's out of control. It, but, it definitely is, bro. I- I can't even. I can't stand to see where this is going. Cause having to deal with social media in general, not even just social media, it it happens everywhere. Right. Like on every platform where you're trying to gain a viewership, it, it's it's going to happen. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I, I feel like. Well, I feel like eventually it's just gonna. Everything is just going to, like, blow. I'm not going to say blow over, but everything's going to, like, blow up, so to speak. So it's going to be, like, I kind of see, like, down the line, a lot of people just going to start. One, a lot of people going to start getting off of social media, not being, like, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'm an avid believer, like, when they say history repeats itself, I really, I'm a, a avid believer in that because people tend to not change. And when you don't change, Normally, shit do just go in circles. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I feel like, you know, before it was social media, people that wanted to be like, of course, without social media, there is no such thing as content creating, so to speak. But, mm-hmm. you know, say like being a comedian, you have to go do a lot of stand-up shows. So I kind of feel like that would come full circle as far as like people would start traveling back out L.A. again, you know, mm-hmm. or to Atlanta Maybe New York. Or, I mean, it's, you know, the typical spots nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then it would be just like, that would be like the thing again. Like, yeah, social media, you know, there's too many rules and, you know. Because all it's going to take is for, like, people to eventually band together, which I, I feel like enough people will, to rebel against one of the platforms. And then that's when everybody's going to start looking at each platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the platforms who, like, give a fair shot, like I, like I said in the beginning of the podcast, I feel like it's, it's Twitter and, and somewhat TikTok and shit. But TikTok is still relatively new. It's only a couple years old. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see how they get once the moolah gets heavily, heavily, heavily involved. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. on there, I, I it's... You literally could wake up and you're a star on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I, uh, even though I'm not like huge on TikTok, like this week alone, I've gained about three to 400 followers. And I haven't done anything any different versus what I've been doing. Hop on there, I do like three, four TikToks and one little sitting, upload all three, four of them at that time. Nah, I disappear for like a week, maybe two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And then come back, do the same thing. And it's just like, you know, like these last few months, it's just been like, you know, the numbers just been slowly creeping up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, I, I don't have nothing. The only thing I'm waiting for is like a viral moment. Like I said, I feel like that's what we need. We'll be good after that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> once we get that, sky's the limit. Yeah, we've had subtle viral videos, but it's just like it's it's nothing compared to what viral actually is. Yeah, I don't say semi-viral. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, like I'm I'm, I'm talking about like that. Don't just get like a million views. Yeah, you get like a million. That's it. That's a wrap. Yeah, it shows up uh, a nigga Snoop or fucking the little Daquan page and shit. They they post that shit. Or right, yeah, you, you might have yourself something. Cause that's all. That's an automatic at least. Three to four thousand followers. Well, the, who, almost, is, who is the Quan? You ain't never seen on like Instagram and all that shit. Like it's just a page, just the Quan. That shit has like 
millions of followers. Oh yeah, I know. Like even celebrities follow that page. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I know. So, yeah. um, if it goes on a page like that, then you already know. All right, I'm I'm getting at least uh, at least eight nine thousand followers, something like that. Hopefully, because you're getting millions of views that's if they share your uh yeah they share your like your name and shit like some people actually do that which is another thing that ruins the algorithm like some someone actually taking the video and not giving credit to the to the person who made it yeah or or it just it, it just comes down to like people worshiping a certain platform over the other you know what i'm saying that, uh, Cause that I, also plays a part because I, I can definitely attest to like when that um when that, when you know the dude you robbing video, when it went on that DMV hoods and news page, mm-hmm. it was people that I knew commenting on that video, and not on my personal video. Mm-hmm. And we had uploaded the personal video probably like three weeks before it made that page. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they probably hadn't seen this shit before. Right, right, and they want to comment until right after. until until no until it gets on a popular platform. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like even if it does make those kind of pages, like people just at, when it comes to that kind of stuff, people kind of just worship popularity because it's a it's a it's a I want to say it's like a how about I say unsolved mystery? <laughs> it's it's a un, it's like unfinished business from high school or some part in their life where they just felt like they didn't get enough attention or they weren't popular or or whatever whatever makes you worship like you know yeah it's worshiping a platform in general and like uh, they do it with celebrities too like they yeah <laughs> yeah and it's it's like we're we're big fans of celebrities but we're not we're not worshiping nobody yeah you know what i mean like there's just like Yeah, like, like, and I also feel like if people could understand, like, you're giving the people, those people power to be, like, gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the DMV Hoods and News page. Like, I love, I love Cuz to death, because Cuz, you know, he didn't have to post us. He did it multiple times, matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's greatly appreciated. But at the same time, like, to use him as an example is, like, by everybody worshiping that page, it's like one. If he does something to get that page deleted, then what? Mm. You know what I mean? Like what? What happens next? Because he can make a he had well he has a backup page, but the backup page is nowhere near that page. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that page has the aura. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, once they see, like, oh, damn, he gone. Oh, well, who else is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's who else got the the big platform. So it's just, man, it's just, yeah, a lot, a lot. It's a lot, a lot of foolery on our end, too, versus, like, just the, the social media end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It goes hand in hand. So, like I said earlier, social media, the platforms do a masterful job of, like, Manipulating and controlling how to keep the ducks in a row. Yeah, I, I can completely agree with that. Cause I had to deal with a, a lot of that too. Cause even with the four of a kind shit, mm-hmm. we had moments where we'll see people comment on just like your individual shit. Like when you post it, like after. Instead of like when you posted it on like the four of a kind page, like which was already had already had somewhat of a platform after like this is like early stages. They'll they'll be like, all right, the four of a kind page is like different, so I all right that we'll push that to the wayside. But then it's on yours specifically. It's just like, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, because they they'll jump towards they were jumping towards that one, but you had already posted that on your page like prior. Right. So, I mean, it, it was like, okay, the platform, like that right there. That's when it had like a little bit of the following. But I understand what the, it benefited you regardless. But 
you in general, like with your specific videos, it just didn't translate to that one. Right. So I, I kind of understood how that was. Yeah, that that. But that's like when it comes, and that's that's what I was saying when we first made that page was like because we weren't humongous ourselves, it's going to be like hard to, you know tell people to go follow this page i don't have a follow a lot of followers myself you know what i'm saying because at that time i think even now i only have what three thousand followers or something like that so it's like mm. at that time i didn't even have nowhere near that so it's yeah, like i didn't jumped up to like two to almost 2100 yeah friends and shit so on facebook well, oh i thought you meant on instagram oh instagram now yeah, 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 I'm, yeah i'm trying yeah I'm trying. so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like on instagram is like i had like maybe a high Nineteen, eighteen hundred or something. So I knew that was going to be tough anyway. Because one, you got to think like a lot of stuff go into it. The algorithm is the biggest thing, and then it's the other little things like a bunch of people not active, a bunch of people don't get on Instagram no more. You know, people following me that's dead, and you know what I'm saying in jail, and a lot, a lot of other things went into it too, like. I don't know. It's just the way I was looking at it is like as long as they comment on somebody's video that's within us, then it's okay. Yeah. I I, I get that. Yeah. And then another thing, like sometimes they'll jump into the idea of, you know, like sometimes like favoritism towards certain people. Like, you know, um, even with, you know, like Big John, them, it's, it's certain people they like, so they're going to follow them more. Okay. So if, like, Big Job posts something. Mm-hmm. He get in the mill. Easy. Minx posts something. At least 100-something thousand to at least 200. He growing, though. I yeah, see he, he definitely yeah, growing. That's my, that's my man. Shout out, out Minx, man. So I love his little Kawhi Jones, bro. Yeah, he growing. And then, or oh, you see somebody like G-Wayne, he's going to get, like, 25,000. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. But, yeah, that, that back then that was his. He might have grew, too, but I just haven't yeah. seen him from G-Wayne in a so, while. So, <laughs> it's just the idea of favoriting. Like, you know... Like, the most popular one is going to get the most views. Yeah. In this Not, situation, I kind of feel like because I, I feel like it's because he just puts out more stuff. And they, and I feel like, and for my personal opinion, I feel like I've seen Ja maybe two years, might have been two years before I even seen either one of them. Hmm. Because I used to see Big John Cornell videos. Like, I, I ain't never seen him in Cornell videos until, like, later on, so I'm not sure. Yeah, like, I, I think, and, wow. So, um, <laughs> I want to say, like, it was a few years ago, maybe 2017, might have been 2016. The first time I seen Big Job was definitely in a Cornell video. It was that little brotherly love video where uh, they was um locked up. I mean, it was fake locked up, though. And he was like, uh, he uh, he walked up all buff and swole to Cornell and was asking what he was in for. But he was talking like a real, like, like he trying to intimidate him and all that. <laughs> and then Cornell was like, he tried to tell him a little sob story so he could, uh, you know, back up off of him or whatever. He was like, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> my, me and my brother, we uh, ran into somebody's house, robbed him or whatever. He's like... <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? We both got caught, but uh, my brother, he got a scholarship to college, play football, and the body of my family never did that. So I took the blame for everything. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, he had asked Big Job what he was in for. <laughs> he was like, he was, he was telling that little story. He was like, man, I came home from work early one day. He's like, went upstairs, seen my girl in bed with another dude. He said, oh, all I remember is I blacked out. He's like, I knocked Cuz upside his head. He's like, I threw her against the wall. He was like, I threw Cuz down the stairs. He hit his head on the fourth step. And then Cornell was like, wait, how you know he hit his head on the fourth step? He was like, yeah, when you go tumble down the stairs, the fourth step extra creaky because that don't need to be replaced or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's how I knew he hit his head on it because I heard that. <laughs> and the nigga Cornell got scared as shit. He was like, he was like, yeah, I'm in this joint for a long time, homie. You know what I'm saying? And then Cornell was like, yeah, 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 but you uh, you know, you sorry for what you did. You seem like a good guy. He was like, yeah, 
but I'd do it again if I want to, you know what I'm saying? And then out of nowhere, he was like, it's like, no, nah, I'm in here for tax fraud, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's like, I just look like this because I work out every day. I've been here for eight years, you know what I'm saying? And then Cornell was like, oh, man, who? He had me going. And then he was trying to walk off, and then Big Jai grabbed him and was like, hey, but when lunchtime come, I'm going to need them fruitcakes. <laughs> and then he was like, all right, man, I got you. He was like, hey, whatever side they give you, I need that too. He, he was like, all right, man, just let me go. And then he pushed him out, out the screen or whatever. Yeah, that's the first time I had seen him. And I was like, damn, cuz, buff his shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, I feel like. I feel like because he took off first and because he was ushered in, I kind of feel like that. To me, it's kind of cheating in a way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, one, Cornell ushering you in. And, two, he's ushering you in and you you are top tier funny. Yeah. Um, forever. He had somewhat of a pretty decent platform beforehand, though. Because uh, he was doing but the, that, the, the that hit management. That, that, that helped, though. It like, did. Yeah, yeah, like, like. Crossing over with them, and then of course we don't even have to get into the lesbian homies. The, not the females in general. Oh yeah, yeah just it. the females in general. Oh, because then that now it's just like now it's just like okay, something wrong with this nigga because it's it's too many bad bitches in these jumps. You know what oh, I'm saying? Awesome. But because you know, you Corn- unlock toxic teddy. Nah, because it's <laughs> like no, nah, you know, Cornell. Cornell got like the bad chicks in his videos, but they look like realistic. Like I feel like if I go out somewhere, even if it ain't Forsville. Let's say if we go like to a different part of them. Let's say if we go to Bowie. I feel like if I go to Bowie Town Center, I might see a page on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I go to Forsville Mall, I might see a chick that look like Courtney. We got him. Yeah, E Fran. Like, where, where have you been where you gonna see a chick like Persephone? Uh, I don't know. Where are you gonna go where you see a chick like E? Well, whole time like we had some of them in Forsville though. We had some of them. They wasn't in our grade, but they, we had some. I of mean, them. Yeah, but look how long ago that was. I've been in high school for fifteen years, and, and we, that's even more years because when them chicks was there, we was younger. <laughs> like I grad, my senior year was like damn near fifteen years ago. So that means it like seventeen, eight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. He he just got like the the pick of the litter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because he live in Cali, bro, that's where they want to go. L. A. And he's probably surrounded by content. Because even it's, I can guarantee you, I can I, I would bet like rent money. The people that they do videos with, that whole big group, Cornell and all of them, twenty of them, Big Job, Minx, G. Wayne T. If you take away all of them, right? I bet you it's still like a thousand other content creators in the area. Yeah. That they, they just never work with yet. Or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like we're also, you know, missing that. Yeah, because um, we don't have, first and foremost, we don't have the usher in niggas. Because yeah, the don't. people who. Or at a higher platform. Yeah, we don't live in. They a, play gatekeeper. Yeah, they don't. We, we don't. We don't. We don't live in the usher in area. Area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they get their platform. They want it for themselves. You want to do any work with them? You, you show. Have, you show a nigga your video in this area. He might steal it with a bigger platform. Yeah. He gonna steal it. Yeah. So we gotta <laughs> be really. Ha- like we have to be really careful with how we maneuver. Mm-hmm. So if we were to go out to areas like L. A. Where chances are they'll probably do that shit too, but more than likely you'll be like, "Hey, I got this idea. You want to work on it?" It'd be pe- people with really decent platforms would be like, "Oh yeah, let's go ahead and work on that." Yeah, and they also have a lot of the equipment needed. Yeah, because you give yourself out there. I feel like you give yourself a better chance because everybody's on on that out there. Yeah, like the I know it's I know niggas probably be trying to steal ideas or shit like that, but. If everybody out there is on like some creating type stuff, then you give yourself better odds. Versus here, everybody's not even on creative type stuff, and then the people you do find be on some silly shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or not consistent, or just a bunch of little things. Yeah, yeah, and, and that plays a part into just 
building an algorithm, like not even an algorithm inside of a social media outlet, but building an algorithm on just in the outside world. Like everybody's not on the same page, so we can't build anything because we don't have that algorithm that's going to like really just usher in, usher in people, and then after that, build them. And then once they get up to the top, then they're doing the same thing. It's like a trickle down effect. But we don't have that same type of algorithm to where everybody's doing the same thing and everybody's trying to work for the same uh, goal. Right. It's like everybody's working for separate goals and all of that stuff, which is cool. But they're working for separate goals that's completely outside of what we're trying to do. Right. So even the ones that really want to work <coughs> in the, the field that we're in, they're more closed off about it. Because right. this field, it seems as though people want to just be to themselves, which is a bad idea. Like, why not try and collaborate? Right. So the building of that type of shit. And then there's also the aspect of, like, females in general. Like, it's not a lot of females around here that really just want to do that. I've I've come to understand. Like, they, I mean, they say they want to be a part of something, but then it's just like, I'm kind of shy about being on camera or something like that. Or get yeah. Or, because, I mean, we all, we do a lot more than just that. We do, like, the photography stuff, too. So, even just that is just they're iffy. It's hard to find people that's just really, truly interested in, in creating stuff. Yeah. That's, I, I kind of feel like with the photography thing, if, if I was to post on Facebook about doing free photo shoots, I feel like the, the, the status would get flooded. But... Probably. Yeah, when it comes to like, I have I have a business side of it, so that I kind of feel like that's what really, you know, besides events, which I have a couple of those coming up later this, I'm about to say later this month. It's still June, later in July, but that that's more easier I feel than like trying to do what we're trying to do. Yeah. Like, until 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 because I kind of feel like the popularity thing just comes into play again. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I kind of feel like people would be ass on us, but if if a popular person was to come along, the goofy nigga, or my boys out Cali, you know, Pap and uh, McKen, yeah, then they'll probably be with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when it's just like, oh, I don't know who these niggas are, versus like, meh. These niggas is funny. I work with them. It ain't like that. It's it's just oh I don't know who these niggas are. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I don't. It's it's <clears throat> this area is like popularity rules over all. First and foremost in this area. That's facts, bro. Yeah. So I, it, it's in, it's incredibly frustrating, but you have no other choice but to deal with it because yeah. you have we have so much talent. But the problem is, it's like no cohesive units. Yeah. Like everybody wants to do everything themselves. And Facts. even when they do something themselves and it doesn't work out, now they, they hate on the person that's doing better than them. And so yeah. they ain't going to support. It's yeah, like, that's, an, that's another thing. That's another thing I peep to. Like a lot of people do be jealous. So, like I said, it's, it's one thing that you, uh, you really can't lie with, and that's energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> once you, and, and this is with any aspect of life, because I first kind of peeped this with, um, you know, some of the, the athletes of the world, like LeBron James or Tom Brady or something. Like once you're, once you're good for too long, people kind of, because people say the same thing, you know, oh, he went too much. Uh, I want to see somebody new. Like, you know, people cling to that that newness and that underdog story. You know what I mean? But it's just like, if a person is, like, working, if a person is working and they're consistently at the top, then it's deservedly so, as long as they're not cheating. So, you know, we can't, Tom Brady, I guess, can't have the asterisk. Yeah, I, I give him asterisks. Sorry. Yeah. But people like LeBron... You know, things of that nature. That's, hey, I don't know. But doing this, doing this conversation, I kind of had like an 
an idea on how to approach that, so to speak, that I haven't tried, that I should have tried that first beforehand. Mm-hmm. But, of course, I'm not going to put that on air. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering if you were going to do so or not. No. Nah. I was figuring that, that you weren't. Yeah, hell no. But, yeah, definitely, definitely going to give that a try because that might be beneficial when it comes to the whole popular thing. <clears throat> so, I... Today, like we, I really enjoyed this conversation today, man. It's like really insightful. Got a chance to like touch on many different topics outside of just having the social media algorithm and stuff like that. We were able to touch on just the algorithm in general with life yeah. and how people operate. Yeah. So, chances are this this might not be the last time we talk about something like this. Well, chances are very high that we're going to talk about this again. Yeah. So. It'll be down the line now. Yeah, more than likely down the line. Yeah. But, again, this has been another Breaking the Narrative podcast, BTN for short. I'm Tony. I'm Teddy. And we out of here.